welcome to F1 2018 career mode. Not just an F1 2018 career mode, an F1 2018 career mode with Renault and Carlos Sainz as my teammate. This should be interesting. The 2018 Formula 1 season is setting up to be the most anticipated season of the V6 Turbo Hybrid era. New teams, new sponsors, new faces, new everything. Here's some of the times that we did in first practice. Here is the top 10. Renault have made massive improvements over the last year. And as you can see right there, I'm actually outdoing other rookies like Charles Leclerc and others. So there it is in practice one. I didn't do that well considering I'm a rookie, but I got inside the top 10 for times. So not that bad when it comes to first practice. And here's some of the times that I did. Right there, they were all on, well, they were on both tires, the super soft and the soft tires. I managed to do two practice programs in the first practice session. I'm getting used to the car. I'm getting used to everything. So after practice, Claire decided to catch me up to ask me questions about the new season and about making my debut in Formula 1. I'm thrilled but there's a lot of pressure that comes with the team's and fans expectations. So since I'm making my debut with Renault, she just told me about how I'm feeling and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling like I'm getting at home with Renault and the last thing that she asked me was about what I was expecting and I said to the press and the media 50 years from now people will be telling their grandchildren about their rookie season if that doesn't tell you about confidence I don't know what does haha <laughs> let's do this and it's not like this is all talk after qualifying I qualified P6 Vettel finished ahead of Hamilton, Raikkonen ahead of Bottas, I finished ahead of Magnussen and Verstappen and my teammate. Heading into the first race of the season, I can't wait. The 3.2 mile circuit in Albert Park, Melbourne, Australia hosts the first round of the 2018 World Championship. It's been hosting the World Championship first round for years and years and years and it's given it's given the fans the early indication as to who could be the world champion. My expectations and my goals for this season are simple. Just to score points and maybe in the key races like Monaco, like France, like Britain to go out there and make an impact. At the end of the day, this is my first season with Renault. I've got nothing to lose and I've got everything to gain. Why not show off and why not impress another, another couple of teams with my overtaking ability, with my pace and my raw speed. A lot of changes for the 2018 season, not just in drivers, but cars and engines alike. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying with a look at the starting grid. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple champion and Lewis Hamilton Row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Raikkonen, Ricardo, Valtteri Bottas, Thomas, Verstappen, Magnussen, Perez, and Carlos Sainz. We've qualified above where we expected to best to hold on to this position in the All race. Alright. Decent qualifying in the race. Well, before the race, qualified P6. Didn't expect that to qualify P6 in a Renault. And by the way, I'm on 101 difficulty. Uh, here's my setup. Haven't really got a, a an actual setup yet, so I need to need to play the game. I need to make sure. I need to need to do a lot of things. I need to figure this game out. But I'm gonna plan on going on the two stop today. Why not take an extra pit stop? Maybe get more pace. We've got nothing to lose, right? This is my first race. I'm liking the handling of this game. I'm liking I'm liking a lot of things, but it's just the changes that I need to get used to. Just the change in mechanics. The changes of the game. Here we go. Five red lights for the start of the 2018 F1 Career Mode Series. 
Lights out and away we go. Bit of a decent start there from us. Ricardo didn't get a good start as we head in towards turn one. I could have dived on the inside. Lose the back end there a little bit as we head in towards two and now down in towards three. I've split the two Red Bulls there. We're in a decent position. If I can finish P5 in my first race as I go a little bit wide, I'll be happy. All I'm looking for is to score points maybe. Finish in a high position. Ricardo's going really slow there. Can I go down the inside? Oh god! I've been hit. I've been hit. What's that? Verstappen, I think? Verstappen, I think, hit me. And now I'm down to eighth. Wow. AI, really, really aggressive. Okay, so after that first lap contact. Oh, bloody hell. Again, I'm losing the back end. Shame that Verstappen really made contact with me. I could have I could have been in a higher position, but we've got to do what we have. And the first victim is my teammate, Carlos Sainz. Oh, he closes the door. Wow. Wow, the AI are really aggressive this year. Jesus. Okay. Whoa. Oh, bloody hell. Lost the back end there again. Now my teammates all over me. Do I let them pass? Nah. I'm gonna fight them. He pushes me wide. Look at this. Handling model is a very tricky thing to get used to in this year's game. It feels understeery and heavy, but grippy. Oh, updates about tyre wear as my teammate gets past and I get past him. Nice switch back. Okay, lap 8. First pit stop of the race. Got to make sure I break it. Ooh, just made it. First pit stop, I'm going to be making two pit stops. Going to be going on the supers. Exit, exit now. That was a decent pit stop. And I'm going to be in last place, aren't I? Yes. But hopefully, I should have the advantage since I have fresher tyres. Fresher tyres equals more time. Let's do this. Yellow flag. What's going on here? Okay, wow. A safety car, wow, okay. So it looks like I am behind Fernando Alonso in P9. This could get very interesting. Oh, whoops. Okay, so it looks like the safety car is coming in this lap. Here we go. That's it. The race resumes. Alonso looks a bit slow here. Can I get him into here? Yes, he looks definitely slow. Is that Ricardo holding him up? I think it is. I'm going to make a move. Here we go. Oh, we've got to watch out for Perez though as we go free wide. Perez goes down the inside. Oh! Bit of damage there. Who's that? Oh, free wide into the penultimate corner. Oh, what? And we actually make the move, we're in P... What is that, P7? P7? And Ricardo has damage, so it looks like it's going to be P6. Not bad. I can easily get Magnussen into here. He doesn't have the confidence. Switch back, bit of contact. Is he going to fight? Tries to shut the door, but I make it. Seven laps old. Alright. Okay. Magnussen goes down the inside. Bit of contact again. I'm going to force him out wide. There we go. 
Lovely. In for our second pit stop of the race. Been a decent stint to be RMP3 right now. Oh, for goodness sake. Come on, guys. Why couldn't Carlos just stay out for a lap or so? Ah. Uh, okay, then. Will I drop out? No, I won't. And that's Magnuson. Ah, Magnuson's jumped us. Okay, we're going to have to get him a track again. Here we are again. DRS. Overtake. Mode. Down the inside. He, oh, blood. Come on, Kevin. Shuts the door on me there. Bit too aggressive there. Surely. Got to get him now. This is for the podium positions. I'm going to force him a little bit wide. I go a little bit wide myself. Okay, That's it. Fair place. Yes. Yellow flags. Oh, Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton's out the race. Very interesting. Hamilton has DNF'd. Let's see who's this again. That is Magnussen. I've had race-long battles with Magnussen, and this has been a fun race today. Try and Increase shake him off. Nope. It's time to use some of this charge. Yes, okay, it's time. I've used, saved up a lot. Let's go. I'm going to try and get him here again on turn three. I haven't got DRS. Do I dive down inside? I'll think about it. Wow. Sergio Perez. Sergio Perez has won the Australian Grand Prix. What? How? I'm sure Sergio was behind me. How the hell did Sergio Perez win the Australian Grand Prix? What? Wow. That's really interesting. But P4. I'll take it. What a race. P4. What a race that was. That was really enjoyable. Really enjoyable race that was. And an incredible win for Force India. How did, how did Sergio Perez win this race? And I have to wonder, Anthony Davidson, just what that shocks me. From the competition here. Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've okay. Seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive. Okay, so something to do with the safety the car, maybe. But how? Sergio was behind me. There was and even one point in the race where we were three wide, and I overtook both him and Alonso. How did Perez win that race? I'm going to have to look and investigate because that is just ridiculous. How the hell did Perez win that race? Did it really have to do something with the safety car or Hamilton retiring or... I... I... There's no... There's no way that Perez overtook me on track. And now let's take a look at the No way, standard. let's see this. Sergio Perez takes the lead of the drivers. Oh my goodness. And now I'd like to ask you, Sergio Davis, Perez made one more day? stop Call than Crofty, all of like us and he still won the race. Wow. I don't believe that. Ferrari, I have to be honest, I don't believe table. that. There'll be plenty more twists and turns well, That's it. First career mode episode's done. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. I can't believe that Perez actually won a race. <laughs> if that is an indication of what I'm in for for this year, this might be the best career mode series I've ever done. Wow. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah. Goodbye. 
The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. And I'm thrilled with their support during the race. You had a close battle today, didn't you? We were both pushing each other to be the best of ourselves. It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? No. I'm not sure what happened out there, to be honest. You scraped the walls a few times. Were you struggling for grip? I'm not sure what happened out there, to be honest. Appreciate your time. <laughs>